Particle accelerators are our only instrument to penetrate the heart of matter. They are machines that give energy to unimaginably small subatomic particles like electrons or protons. Accelerators use electric fields to give particles energy and speed them up, and magnetic fields to contain them in a circle. We can penetrate the atoms and modify their nuclei. We can also smash them against other particles and produce new particles from the collision energy. By concentrating massive amounts of energy in a tiny space, accelerators can recreate the conditions of our universe as they were one billionth of a second after the Big Bang. Of course, particle accelerators are not just used for pure scientific research. The overwhelming majority, more than 95% of the accelerators, they are used for medical applications or by industry. So from, in medicine, accelerators are used to produce radioactive isotopes, which can be used for diagnosis of diseases in the human body or for cancer therapy. They are treating cancer, that this is very important, and they are at the same time doing also the imaging. There is a lot of development, making access consume less energy, more reliable, and making them more compact to be more sustainable and affordable. That's a dream for the long-term future, to have very tiny accelerators producing focused electron beams at very high energy. A dream that might not be so far away. European research and development efforts such as the ARIES project are hoping to push the frontier of particle accelerator science even further. But there are still many challenges yet to face. Making particle accelerators more powerful, but at the same time smaller, more energy efficient and more reliable is our main challenge. And to address this challenge, 41 European universities and laboratories have joined efforts with industry to put together the ARIES project.